Hey, welcome back to Motorhead Garage. Well, we've got a treat for you here. We've got Jim Blaylock here from Switchblade Turbochargers has brought in something brand new that he's been working on for, you said, five years? Mm-hmm. Yep. This is pretty unique. And Jim, tell us a little bit about it. Okay, this is a form of variable geometry turbocharger. The only difference is, is it's got one additional moving part compared to a conventional turbocharger. And the ones that are on the market now have between 40 and 50 extra moving parts, a lot more complex, and we believe ours is more durable than ours is. Now this one here is made for a 5.9 Cummins turbo diesel. Now this is the stock turbocharger housing, and you can see it's real small, and of course it has a wastegate in it. What's the, what's the purpose of having such a small turbocharger and a wastegate? Well, they, they use a small one so it'll speed up a spool up quicker, and therefore it won't put out as much uh, exhaust emissions. Mm -hmm. And then they put the wastegate on it because having a small turbine housing creates a lot of back pressure in the engine. Absolutely. And so they open that wastegate to bypass the turbine wheel, and you that's an apt term. You know, you're wasting a lot of energy going out there that could be in a larger turbocharger spinning that turbine wheel and putting out more air. You so can you see there's a big difference right here on the uh, on the size of these things. Yes. Right. Yeah. Now, tell us, what is the, uh, you were talking about variable uh, variable turbo. geometry turbo charger. Yeah, what exactly is that, Jim? Well, the all of them they have a vein, a movable vein inside of them, that will help you uh, change, the, effectively change the AR ratio of a turbine housing. And when you close ours, there you can see it. It's making it the same as a smaller turbine housing, mm -hmm. and so it's going to spool up quicker. This housing is twice as large as the one that comes from the factory but it is turbo will spool up quicker than it will. Okay, so then when you get to the top end, you still have boost. Yes. You still, you know, with these here, once you open the wastegate, you basically have a normally aspirated engine. The big advantage of it is the fact that with our turbocharger, you'll actually make more boost than you do back pressure. So what a lot of guys do, you know, the stock turbocharger, it's fine, it'll give you good performance for what you're doing, but they want to increase performance, mm -hmm. they'll put on a larger turbo housing, and what we're talking about is this here, the exhaust side of this thing. Put on a larger housing, well, that'll give you more horsepower, but you got a lot more turbo lag with it, right? Right, exactly. And that's always been an issue with turbo. And the, and the engine manufacturers try to compromise, hence the wastegate and small turbo. So, housing. what you're doing here then is you're making a large turbocharger look like a small one for a period of time. So, you get really the best of both worlds with this. I exactly. And you can see it's operated by this actuator, it has its own standalone computer. So, it is a self contained unit. You bolt it on. What's it do for fuel economy? Well, Right now we're seeing uh, more than two miles per gallon improvement in fuel economy. That's awesome. That's large. Is. And you know, what this is really doing, the way it actually works, if you, to get an idea about it, you know, if you've been in, uh, out there in your yard, you got a water hose and you're squirting it on a fan blade and you get it spinning, you know, if you get it just in that sweet spot, it'll really spin up. Or same thing with an air hose on a fan. Well, that's exactly what we're doing with this, is we're finding that sweet spot on that turbo wheel and really making it spin up. Exactly, yes. So what else do you need with this, Jim? Well, basically, you need a larger exhaust manifold because the stock manifolds are too restrictive for mm -hmm. it. Yep. And you can see the difference in the housings here, and it's pretty obvious why you need that. And, and most of these guys are putting performance manifolds on anyway because the factory ones crack. Right, exactly. And so you get a better manifold on it, then we'll, this thing will perform much better. And you got all the uh, the uh, software and everything that goes with this, this as well. This is all electronically controlled, right? Yes, this is a uh, this is a computer. This is a CAN unit that hooks to it. It hooks to all the sensors that we send with the turbocharger. You hook your laptop to it. You can program the operation of the vane with your laptop. You can also use it to log the data, your all your different data in there, and you can make graphs and you can see when you make improvements in the performance. And it's a bolt-in swap. It'll go right in place where the original turbocharger was. Yes. Boy, that's the way to go. Now, if, we're, if, if you want more information about this, where do you go to get it? Well, you can go to our website, switchbladeturbocharger.com, or you can call our 800 number, which is on there, but there's a form on the website as well. Great. So the trick, if you want to do this, get a hold of Jim, tell him what you're wanting to do. He'll give you all the information you need, and you can have yourself a nice package there. Yep. Well, that's all the time we have for now.